Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be part of my, uh, like my mixed media, uh, for beginners using products from home. And I just want to show you a couple of things. Um, as you can see here, there's texture. Now, a lot of you, um, write me and, um, which it's coming up is how to make modeling paste, how to make, I call it molding paste and that kind of thing. And gesso. but a lot of you don't want to, or have the money to make it. And you wanted to know other ways to do texture. So, so let me show you uh, a few ways. Now you can definitely use paint. Uh, you can put it on very, very thick, let it dry, um, and then paint over it. And you can even take a little baby powder and you can put it uh, you know, in a bowl or, you know, a little bit on here, uh, put a couple drops of, uh, your white paint, a little bit of powder, mix it. It gets a little thicker. You can use that a little white glue. That's basically what it is. You can make a thick paste or you can get this at the dollar store. It is cheesecloth. Now I use it for when I do soups for herbs and all that, but I also use it in my, um, in my art, as you can see, this is all it is. It's just cheesecloth. No, it, you don't have to use cheesecloth. Use an old pantyhose. You have old pantyhose? Go to the dollar store. Get a package of pantyhose or knee highs um, and use them. Cut them in pieces and use them. And all you have to do is put it on with some, I used Mod Podge, but you can definitely use white school glue or whatever, you know, whatever glue you use. And you can see there's some, I have some bumps and textures in there and that's going to make it um, a little more when I paint over it, a little more texture to it, right? Or if you have a uh, paper towel that you have used uh, for paint, which I'm sure we all have um, full of paint, I glued that down um, with Mod Podge. Again, you can use your Mod Podge or you can use, um, now you want to use matte. Uh, if you use gloss, it's going to be harder to put things on top, unless you're using a multi um glue, like the kind that's like uh, kind of satin. What is it called? My multi-purpose, I believe. Let me see. Yeah. Multi-surface, uh, satin, um, and all the folk art, all of them have it now. And so you get your texture on there. So all you do is you just glue it down and kind of, you know, mush it a little bit. I used my big brush and mush it around just so we got some texture on both. And now let me show you, I'm just going to take some, um, white paint, and you can leave the color on there and, and that could be great for your background. I just want to show you, let me just put some white paint on here and grab a brush. Oh, where's my brushes at? Where's my brushes at? I'm not going to wet my brush though. I'm just going to make sure it's flexible in here. And then I'm going to run this over. And you can go either way. You can see it picking up the texture. Now, if you really want to get fancy, right? If you have a stencil that you want to use, you can definitely put um, your napkin or, you, I mean, you can use napkins as well, paper towels, your cheesecloth, pantyhose, an old t-shirt, whatever. Uh, but you can definitely glue that down as well. Use, you know, use things around you that you see. My dog's gagging. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Let me show you. All right. Now look at that texture. So tell me that you wouldn't know that that's not modeling paste or molding paste. So think about it. Think about, uh, if you have white school glue at home, if you have Mod Podge, if you have any type of glue, um, I mean, gl look, a glue stick can even work. Uh, if you want it to, do you know what I mean? You'll just glue down little parts at a time and, and, uh, maybe you want to wet your paper towel a little bit more so you can see, now you can see definitely, um, some of the paint and spray coming through a little bit. I don't care about that. That doesn't bother me. Uh, and you can tell this one's much more textured, right? Than this, but it doesn't matter. They both look fantastic. Fantastic. So wait till we put paint on it like color paint so I can show you. I'm just gonna give it a real quick dry. <clears throat> very, very hot today, a little humid, but tomorrow, it's, I think today is gonna be 86 and then tomorrow is gonna be 70. So that's a joy. 
Then I took my needle last night and I'm exhausted and I haven't made videos in a few days so I haven't been down to my art room and uh, that's so much going on. But I've gone through my um, emails and I know Dawn R. Dawn R. And there was one other person that asked me a different way to get texture, which I'm going to show you a couple with, you know, I'm going to have a short videos. Um, but I'll write the other on. I like to, when you guys ask me and I get a chance to do the request, I like to put your names in the, um, either in the description or in the title, just so you guys can see it. Okay. So you can see that great texture. Now let's put a color on it and see what we like. Now you can do a base coat. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to take, I want a dark color. Let's just do some green. Why not? This is just golden green. Golden green, squatting it there. Golden green, squatting it everywhere. All right, gonna get my brush again. I want my brush dry, right? As dry as I can get it. I don't really want it wet. And I'm gonna put my brush in it besides. Watch. And I'm just gonna run it so you can really see the texture. That's all. You see what I'm doing? I'm gonna turn it now because the more paint. Look at, and look how it picks up all that texture. Come on now, faux modeling paste. Look at that. That is faux show. Oh no, she didn't. Uh huh, she did. But look at that. So you have all this texture. It looks like, uh, you know, your modeling paste and your texture paste, and all it is is cheesecloth on a paper towel. Who doesn't have an old paper towel or napkin? Um, and I even did the video what a week ago on the uh, dryer sheets, which you can use in this way as well. So let me show, I mean, I, I just, I love it. I love it. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm just going to swirl around for a minute so I can show you on half when it's all covered. Now you want to make sure you're dry all the way, your paper and your paint, because you can see it's mixing, but I don't care. Well, that's an okay. All right. I just want to get it down in the, the grooves. Okay. And now look. Look at that. Look how cool. Ah, I love it. Love it. And then you can take your darker green and just run it right over the ridges to get, let me show you. Cause I know, I know for people who are new, it gets a little, you know, hard to understand everything. I'm just going to use my finger. I just dipped it in and I'm just going to touch over. The parts that are lifted, right? Now you might want to wait till it's dry because it'll come up a little better for you. Okay, and then I'll show you what it looks like. See how you just drag and grab on the front and just makes it even more delicious. Oh, I love it. So Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this. Uh, I love showing tricks and tips using at-home products and stuff that you can use at home, especially starting out. But look, you can use this for anything. Um, and like I said, remember your dryer sheets, your napkins, your paper towels. Um, I have constantly have paper towels <laughs> sitting around with all kinds of color and stuff that I dab and do and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I also, <laughs> I'm very cheap. Um, cheap in so many ways. <laughs> um, but see, like this is wet, so I'll leave this hang and dry. So when I come down tomorrow or when I come down again, um, I just have it like this. Um, it dries and then I can use it again because I'm <laughs> so cheap and I love to recycle and reuse everything. You know what I mean? The best that I can. So keep your eye out for more of these little tricks. A lot of fun. You can definitely get this stuff uh, at the dollar store or like I said, even use your paper towels. But listen, if you have paper towels, maybe you buy Bounty and they're more expensive and you don't want to use those with your art. 
go to the dollar store. You get two paper towels for $1 at Dollar Tree. Um, and then you can just use a couple of those if you want. Uh, that's usually what I, I do. I like to have like the cheaper paper towels down here, but um, sometimes I use, you know, whatever I have up there. So you definitely can use anything you have. Kleenex, think about it. Think about it. Fantastique. I love you guys so very much. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye-bye.